Welcome back to our SketchUp Pro tutorial series. We are looking at the Harley plan sets, um, just like we did with our potting shed, which was the first one. And this one, we're gonna take a look at the ninth plan, and it is gonna be a residential house. Um, there are a lot of drawings. There are a lot of drawings in this plan set. And so we're gonna continue to work through those drawings as we try to really recreate this entire house. This first video is going to just be an overall um, view of the plot plan, which is the first drawing. So we're gonna recreate the overall plot, which I have uploaded as an image here so we can kind of see exactly how things are supposed to look. Um, and as you see, it gives us all of our dimensions um, for the drawing itself and anything that is not actually dimensioned out then we just kind of estimate it so with that said we're going to just create an overall rectangle make sure that it is on the right face and we use my tape measure create a starting point and our due west very top was 70 feet. And our bottom part was 60 feet. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Set a tape measure there, go up. So it was 50 feet. And let's go ahead and create that rectangle. This one goes from here to here. And I'm just going to erase that. That way I don't need. So, again, just to clarify, we have two measurements. We have the bottom measurement, which is 60 feet. The top measurement is 70 feet and then our height is 50 feet. From this point we're going to create the residential pad location. So from the top down it is 5 feet. From the front it is 20 feet from the right it is 21 feet and we do have this measurement at the very back that is 14 feet however I found it's not completely accurate so we're going to kind of leave that one out for now and use the overall residential measurements in order to get that back piece um, so with that, the overall width of our house is 21 feet and the length of our house is 30 feet. And so if we kind of did this right here, you can see that it's supposed to be 14 feet. However, it doesn't realistically match up with it. So that's why we don't do that method and instead just draw out the actual width of our house, which is 30 feet. At this point, let's go ahead and create our rectangle. Um, we will be deleting this piece right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, hit delete in order to delete that area. Um, we will be coming back in a new, in a second video in order to create the foundation for that. For the garage, it is five feet from the bottom here. It is 25 feet from the very front. Overall, the garage is 10 feet wide and 20 feet long. So 10 feet wide. 
20 feet long and it is 25 feet from the very beginning. Let's go ahead and create a rectangle here. And I'm going to delete some of my guides again. For our little driveway, it is going to be eight feet wide. So we just go from each side of the garage and go up one foot, go down one foot, and let's draw in this rectangle. For our house, the doorway is centered. We're going to create it is going to be a three foot wide door however we'll go on each side um, a foot so we'll go two foot on this side two foot on this side and we'll go four feet down let's go ahead and create that rectangle This is four feet wide. However, our walkway is only three feet. So we want to go in six inches on each side. And that is gonna be our walkway. We do have a walkway right here there is no measurements as you can kind of see so we've done this part and we've done this part and we know that this walkway is three feet wide however we don't really have a measurement for it so um we're just gonna go two feet from this point maybe even three feet but we'll go with we'll go with two feet and then from there, three feet. Realistically, this is probably three feet, but that's all right. Close enough. So that is our rough measurement of everything we're going to bring up this piece six inches we're going to bring up these three inches and this right here will be brought up another three inches. So bring it up three inches total to match that and then three more inches. So that way your overall measurement for our, our garage foundation is six inches. And we'll use our eraser just to kind of erase some of these other pieces. At this point, I want to take my push pull tool, bring this down hit control in order to make a new face. You can hit control. That way we don't mess up the top. I do need to reverse that and reverse this. We can do a similar thing with all these other pieces. Make sure that when you hit you hit control, you have the little star there, in order that way you don't you're not bringing everything down. So just be aware of that. Clean up all your pieces. Make sure everything is correctly. We do need to come in here.
clean up our fine little pieces of lines. I do want to go in here really roughly and bring in some materials. So dark green grass. And let's get some colors and try to find some sort of brown for the ground. I missed this piece right here. So what we can do with the paint bucket tool, open, hold down alt, select the green grass, and go ahead and place that. Find the asphalt and concrete. Um, we just want to find some polished concrete. Color that in there. And I'm just going to color in all of these pieces. Remember to use your keyboard shortcuts as they really help speed along your process. Remember your middle scroll wheel is that orbit tool and holding down that orbit tool and holding down the shift key brings up the pan. And that way you don't have to actually change your tool if you need to do something. At this point, we are going to come to a close at here. Um, we will worry about some more of the landscaping stuff a little bit later on, um, just so that's not in our way. Um, but this right here gets us to our starting point. Um, again, it doesn't really matter how much you bring it down. Don't bring it down too much, as we will be um, probably bringing it up a little bit initially anyways when we're working on our foundation in our next video. But this is what you're going to end up with. Um, whenever you're turning this in, you can use your um, the dimension tool in order to place your dimensions. For this part, we only really need those dimensions right there. Um, and then place in the dimensions for our house, which is the main part. So do that, go in here, edit, um, save your, your project. Um, instead of the PS9, you can put, uh, put in your initials, um, but take your screenshot, your full screenshot, upload that to our Schoology. Um, make sure you save it as we will be using this project in our next video when we're taking a look at the foundation for our house. Um, again, this was the Harley plan set nine um, that we are looking at. And so stay tuned for our next video in this series. Thank you for tuning in.